In this question, we are asked to calculate the ratio of two measurements um, with uncertainties. And we need to uh, use a slightly different uh, strategy for that. Um, so uh, here we want to basically calculate the ratio of uh, Vmax over Km is just uh, something relevant for enzymology, but uh, it could be any uh, ratio. So how are we going to do that? So first of all, we can very easily calculate this uh, ratio, Vmax over Km, equals 562.5 millimolar per minute divided by 63.9 millimolar and if we put that in a calculator, we get a value of 8.803 minute to the minus 1. So that is the first part of the calculation. But what are we going to do now with these uncertainties in our measurements that we have uh, calculated with these standard errors? Now, because we are doing um, a ratio division, but it also applies to a multiplication of two measurements, we can no longer use our simple uh, trick uh, that we used for the addition or subtraction, um, where we just simply used these um, absolute uncertainties. So this here would be an absolute uncertainty because it really has the same unit as our uh, measured uh, value. Instead, what we can do is we can calculate the relative uncertainties. Relative uncertainties. And this is just simply, it tells us the percentage of this uncertainty compared to the measured value. So we can compare uh, calculate the relative uncertainties for our first measurement. This would be 10.7 divided by 562.5. Obviously, the units cancel out. So this would be, if we put this in a calculator, we would get for this 0 0.019. Or if we multiply it by 100, um, we would get 1.9%. So that's our relative uncertainty for the first measurement. For the second measurement, for Km, we get 8.7 divided by 63.9, and that gives us in a calculator 0 0.136, or we can also convert it to a percentage that would be 13.6% uncertainty. And what we can do with these relative uncertainties now is we can, again, we can treat them like the sides of a triangle. So in our case, the triangle would probably look like that. So here we've got our 13.6. Here we've got our 1.9%. And the combined relative uncertainties uh, is uh, this side of the triangle. And again, we can easily calculate that with uh, Pythagoras because we know that a square plus b square equals c square. Uh, so what we uh, can do in this case is we just simply uh, say c equals the square root of our uh, sides, so that would be 13.6% squared plus 1.9% squared. And uh, if we put this in a calculator, we would get this as roughly 13.7%. Um, so we can say we get our value of the ratio as 8.8, 8.8, .8, 8 
per minute plus minus 13.7 percent and of course we can uh, convert these uh, percentage all we need to do is we multiply our 8.8 .8 times 13.7 over 100 that's the definition of percentage and uh, we would get uh, something like 1.2 one. Now we need to be careful uh, in terms of the uh, significant figures. So here we have determined that to basically three significant figures or here we have only two significant figures. So we really need to be very careful that we are consistent with our significant figures. And uh, what we can do is, in this case, we can use our absolute value and round this to the same significant figures. We round everything to the same significant figures. So we would get 8.8 .8 plus minus 1.2 minute to the minus 1. Strictly speaking, we really should only do everything to one significant figure, one significant figure, but the jury is out. Some people uh, do it to the same decimal uh, if we are dealing with ratios. So if, we, if you did it for one significant figure, we would report this as 9 plus minus 1 minute to the minus 1. Both results are valid. Uh, I probably would tend towards more of this, uh, but you will see very frequently that uh, this one is also acceptable. So I hope this makes sense and thank you for watching.